Hello, I want to welcome you to Southern Auntie's home. My name is Southern Auntie. You can just call me Auntie for short though. I tell everyone to call me Auntie. But I hope you enjoy the touring of my home and I hope that you choose here to lay your head and rest and relax, okay? Alright, so we're going to start right here. You came through the front door. I'm going to get you to take your shoes off in a minute because I keep my carpets clean now. I vacuum my carpets five times a week, okay? Yeah, that's a job. It's literally a job. I have a set time and everything to vacuum my carpets. I vacuum my carpets five times a week. Keep them nice, fresh, clean, and fluffy. So I'm going to ask you to take your shoes off, okay? Good. All shoes go right here. But these are my puppy shoes, okay? I keep these on when I'm in the house because these are house shoes. Unless you bought you a pair of house shoes. I'm sorry, sugar, but you're going to have to take your shoes off and leave them right here. And I hope you don't have no ugly feet. I'm just kidding. You shouldn't be embarrassed of your ugly feet. I won't pick on them to your face, love. You should always feel comfortable around here. Just always have some kind of garment of clothing on, please. Southern Auntie does not want to see that. Okay. So once you get your shoes off, I'm going to show you the rest of the house, okay? I love this wood flooring right here. So when you come straight through this door, you need to be very careful because I have my table right here and it's mirrored. You don't want to crack the glass on my table because I might crack something on your body. And I have my books right here. Now these are books, some of them I need to read, some of them I've already read, but feel free to read any of them. I got some Jehovah's Witness books for you. I got To Kill a Mockingbird. The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. Um, Liar Liar by James Pattinson. And I even got the Death Note. You know, anything you may want to read. So the auntie likes to appeal to everyone. table with two chairs in case you want to bring a little date over mm -hmm. you know only enough for two not enough for a third wheel we don't do third wheeling over here okay good and next I'm gonna show you the living room area and right there that's where you're gonna be able to sit and just relax I'm gonna put a TV in there for you to watch TV but I got some magazines in there you can lay back you can smoke in here this is a 420 friendly environment and I got some drinks in the refrigerator for you so the auntie loves to keep back and drink her a nice glass of wine after a long hard day sometimes the day ain't even gotten started yet and so the auntie needs her a glass of wine now this is my table and as you can see it is mirrored and I have some coasters right here for you and your friends to use in case y'all get thirsty but there will be no playing of the uno, no playing of the spades, goldfish, blackjack, whatever it is that y'all play these days. No playing that on my table. You have that table over there to play that on, okay? But back to my sweet coasters here. I have one that says grateful. Because I'm very grateful to have you here. And then this one just has a really neat little design on it. 
and this one says blessed because I'm blessed to have you here as well sugar and down here this is this cute little rug it's gray and very soft super cute and it's okay for you to put your feet on it makes it very soft and this is the living room area i'm gonna show you what it looks like up close okay has this nice soft material the material is soft but the sofa is actually firm. When you sit down on it, you won't sink into it. It's very firm and it supports you. I have this diamond encrusted pillow here. And these diamonds actually are very durable. So don't be afraid to cuddle up with the pillow. But just don't try to rip any of them off. Now this first pillow I have here, it actually matches the texture of the sofa the same exact texture and this next pillow here it has polka dots on it but it reminds me of cheetah prints somewhat next pillow here is like metallic almost that's what it reminds me of I'm not sure of the exact material and over here I just got the same set of pillows that I just showed you I have a lamp right here in case you need to read and turn it on at night and right here I have your little blanket in case you get cold and it's actually called Astro Alpaca. Super cute and it keeps you very warm. Over there I have a vanity seat in case you have a friend over that doesn't want to sit on the couch. They're too dirty to sit on the couch. You know they smell like outside. Thank you very much. Sit right there. Next I'm going to show you what the kitchen looks like. Okay. Now here, this is my kitchen. I take pride in my kitchen because I cook some of my best meals in here, okay? So the first thing I'm going to show you is my pantry. You know, I keep all my little canned goods and anything I need to make quick. All of that's in there. Now behind that door right there, that's my laundry room. So I got my washing machine, my dryer, my sewing material, all that stuff. So if you ever get a hole in your clothes or something like that, I can fix it for you, okay? Right there, I got my refrigerator. Don't touch my coupons on my refrigerator, okay? Because I need those. I need those to save my little money, okay? So the auntie got to save her little pennies, okay? And these here are my coupons. My cute little refrigerator magnets. This one says laugh every day. This one says live every moment. And the other two are just random designs. And over here, we just got the stove. Now, I did fry something the other day, but 
I don't want to dispose of the grease down the drain because it's going to clog my drain up. So, I got to find somewhere to properly dispose of that grease. Now, over here, I got my onions and my tomatoes simply because I don't like refrigerating those. Um, I just don't. And over here, you know, Southern Nutty loves her pink. So, I got me some pink cooking utensils. I even got a pink ice cream scooper. This is super cute. Got pink oven mitts. And I got my Hello Kitty mini fridge. And over here, I got this in here just to ensure that none of my glassware breaks in here. None of my wine glasses or my glass bowls, anything like that. I got you some dishwashing liquid, a sponge, just for you to wash your little dishes off with, okay? Anything you may need to clean up with, it's underneath here. I got you some Windex in case you get your little fingerprints on my windows or my mirror things in my living room. Got you some Clorox wipes, anything you may need to clean up behind yourself, okay? Good. Next thing I'm going to show you is the bathroom, okay? So this is on the way to the bathroom. I even got pink trash can liners. This is my closet. I'll show you that after the bathroom. Now, this is the bathroom. It's very clean, and I really would appreciate it if you would keep it this way, okay? When you first walk in, I got this Japan poster in here because really, this thing was supposed to be cherry blossom. Okay, and I already had this, so that works out really well. And I love this because it's really velvet right here, but the details are embossed. And it's super cute. Now over here, I got these towels. That's the one you dry your hands with, okay? The mirror right here. These are just the things that I use every day. I got my toothbrush, my tongue scraper, my face rollers. Here's some um, air freshener in case you need to freshen it up in here. Hand sanitizer. Hand soap. And I painted this just to go somewhere in the house but it really ties together well with the bathroom because it really matches the shower curtain. And I love the shower curtain. I just think it's a very good quality. I want everything in here to be very decent quality for your sugar, alright? And in here, I just have some extra things for you, you know, in case you may need that. Um, I got you some face towels. I got you some actual towels. I got you a shower cap. Got you a nice little pink robe here. More face towels in case you need to clean something up. This is makeup box right here. Just some extra makeup in case you decide you want to wear some. And that's just some extra first aid stuff down there in case you have a boo-boo or you know, your skin get irritated or something, okay? Okay, so walking out the bathroom, I'm gonna show you what my closet looks like. I have a little extra space in here in case you need to store some of your clothes in here. But on this side, I have my teddy bears. I have my wigs up here. Down here, I just got my ukulele. And down here, I keep my shoes. These are some of my heels and some of my sandals. I have most of my sandals put up in storage because it's getting cold outside. And I don't want to get sick and I'm not going to be wearing most of my sandals. Over here, I have the dresses that I wear in the wintertime. Up here, I just have some bags. You know, just trying to decorate in here. Um, I have some of my coats right here. Some of my purses here. And these are some of my light jackets, my winter shirts, 
and my two pieces that I wear in the winter time. My big coats are in my coat closet that's located behind the front door where we put our shoes at, okay? So if you have a big coat, you can put it in there, but don't put it in here because I don't want to take up too much space, okay? Good. Down here, I just got some extra bags, you know, in case I um, need to wear a smaller bag. I got my bigger bags up here, though, like, in case I go somewhere and spend the night, my little overnight bags. And over here, I got my hats, my over-the-shoulder bags, and my belts. I love these little loop belts right here. And I got this brown belt, but when you turn it around, it's a Michael Kors belt. But I like wearing it on the brown side. So that's all for the closet. Now I'm going to show you my bedroom. And this is my favorite room in the house, okay? So get ready. So that's my closet there on the right. But right here, here is my bedroom. That's my bed. It's my fluffy rug right here. I got a chest right here with my TV and my PlayStation. Right here, I have my mirror and my dresser. It's alligator embossed. This here is my princess antique brush set. I have to get these polished. Brush your hair with them later on if you like. So this here is my mirror, and the cool thing about it is when you run your hand up the side of it like this, it lights up. I think it's so cute. It's mirrored right here. Got some bling on the handle. And over here, I got a vanity seat just to hold my purse, or if someone wants to sit down. Over here is my bed. I just got a pillow to match my vanity seat and my nightstand. The front of my bed is mirrored as well. Super cute. And I got this body pillow right here in case I need to use it at night. And this is my nightstand. It looks just like the rest of my dresses and my drawers. But the cool thing about it is when you touch behind it, the bottom lights up, so I really don't have to turn on the lights on at night. And this is my lamp. It's a fillable lamp, so I can put something in it, but I'm not sure what I want to put in it yet. And the cool thing about this lamp is it has USB ports, so I can charge my phone on my nightstand at night. And this is my bed. Super nice comforter. Nice, cute design. And there are buttons right here because my headboard actually does the same thing that my dresser does. So they both light up at the same time. And I just think that adds a nice elegant touch to the room. And down here I have another soft rug and this one's in white.
This roast is so soft. They're not too hot when you put your feet in them. They're actually really cool. And over here, I just have my chest drawer. That's alligator embossed as well. And this mirror going up the side. But yeah, that's my whole room. So I hope you enjoyed the tour of the house. Yeah, I hope you decide that you want to stay here. Um, if you do decide that you do want to stay here, but you're nervous about using the kitchen, I have no problem at all with teaching you, okay? I teach you everything I know about cooking, okay? Good. All right, so I'll see you soon, yeah? All right, love. Goodbye.